Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog on the channel. It's been a while since I've vlogged. I think it's been over a week since I last posted or even filmed a vlog. So I'm excited to start vlogging again. I don't know why I decided to vlog in the mirror today, but today is a Saturday and it's a very chill weekend. I wanted to kind of film my slow weekend morning in a life. I don't have plans really this morning, but tonight I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen it yet. It's been out for over a week, but last weekend we were at the beach and I didn't vlog that, but I did talk about that in my packing vlog and it was so much fun. Honestly, I think that's why I didn't vlog after for over a week because it took a long time to kind of like get situated again and it was just such a busy, hectic week and I had so much work. A lot of campaigns and sponsorships I'm doing for end of July, so I had to just catch up on that and focus on that. But today we're vlogging and we're gonna get some stuff done. We're gonna be productive in today's vlog. I have some things to show you and some new products to try out and I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning in the apartment, just a really chill morning and afternoon. And then I think around 5 p.m. we're gonna go to the movies. And yeah, we're gonna go see Barbie. I'm really excited, me and my girlfriends. So that's kind of the plan for today's vlog. And right now I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches for Anto and I. Anto is here, he's uh, in the bathroom, but he will not be seeing the Barbie movie with me. I told him, me and my friends all asked him to come with us. And he was just like, hell no, I'm not seeing that. But I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm going to make breakfast now. <laughs> bacon egg and cheese on croissants for breakfast we were really craving Starbucks but I thought let's just stay home and make our breakfast at home and then I also put some cheddar cheese and cream cheese but how good does this look for your Saturday breakfast oh my gosh guys we just saw this because we just went outside to like um, have some coffee after our breakfast and just noticed in the corner right there there's like a little weird thing it looks like some sort of insect nest. I don't know what though. Like it doesn't look like a beehive. It kind of looks like a clunk. I don't know if that's the right word. Like a, like dried dirt or dried mud. And then it has the three holes there. I would go outside to get a better shot of it to show you guys, but I'm kind of scared now. But we literally just saw this while we were sitting outside and we freaked out, we ran inside. So uh, Anto called maintenance. I think they're closed today, but hopefully first thing Monday morning they can come because that's scary. Does anyone know what that is? Please leave a comment. What is that? What insect nest is that? I just realized the white tank top that I was wearing had a really big stain on it. That's embarrassing. But I changed into this brand new t-shirt that I just got from Ocean City. That's where we went for the beach. And we went shopping on the boardwalk on our last day there. And I got this really cute shirt that I'm so obsessed with. It's a Jeep shirt and it's this like turquoise color. This is such an ultimate bumish outfit but I love these sweatpants too these are from Aritzia they're like cargo sweatpants I rediscovered them I forgot I had them and I've been wearing them every day and the back of the t-shirt I wanted to show you guys it might be kind of hard to show I think we can kind of see it from this angle but the back of it says Jeep has a Wrangler on it with palm trees such a cute beachy t-shirt I love it and then I also bought another t-shirt I did a lot of shopping at the boardwalk i love going to the boardwalk and just looking at all the jewelry and the cute like puka shell necklaces the t-shirts all the ocean gear so yeah if you missed that vlog where i was packing i was packing for the beach we all went there me anto and all of our friends we went there for anto's birthday he turned 30 also just a couple weeks ago so 
he wanted to go to the beach so we went there and it was so much fun we were only there for three days but it was just so much fun and i'm really glad i didn't vlog because there was absolutely no time to do anything we were just like always on the go whether we're at the beach, at brunch, at the pool, at Secrets or Mackey's or Fager's, those are our favorite places at Ocean City. We didn't get to go to Coconuts and Fishtails this time. Those are our other favorite places. We need to go, I think we're gonna go again in August, just me and Anto, uh, because we really love Ocean City. And it's funny, a lot of people in our area talk bad about Ocean City. They call it Ocean shit, like, city except with this sh in the front but it really isn't a bad place it's so much fun you just have to know what to do you have to go with the right people and everywhere you go there's so we always have a blast but we definitely want to go again maybe next month and stay longer and go to all of our other favorite places that we miss this time like crab bag that's our favorite place to get crabs and seafood so we didn't get to go this time but we will next time but it was a really fun trip and when i got back home i really just needed to focus on organizing my life, doing a reset. I usually vlog my resets, but I just felt like I needed to focus and not worry about vlogging. So I unpacked, I washed so much laundry, I cleaned again, and we had a lot of things to take care of. Like I had to get my taxes done. I haven't done my taxes, I had to get an extension because as someone who's self-employed, my taxes are very complicated, so it took my accountant a little bit longer than usual. So I finally closed up and finished doing my taxes, and then we had to, you know, go to some doctor's appointments and just take care of a lot of really, um, I guess, tedious things. And we had a lot of meetings with people, us, me, and Anto. Like we both had a lot of things. We collectively do our errands together when it's like big things like that. When it comes to taxes, doctor's appointments, we try to do those things together because it freaks us out and like we like to support one another. So we were doing all of that um, and now we're chilling. It's Saturday and we're just relaxing today. I am really happy to just have nothing to do today and be able to vlog and have a nice chill day. Right now I'm gonna change the bed sheets because I haven't done that since before we left for the beach two weeks ago. Kind of gross. So we're gonna do that, clean the bedroom a little bit. Um, it's not that messy, but I just wanna like vacuum and do all that. Then I have to put some laundry away. Oh my gosh, these little bracelets. Me and my friends, we got friendship bracelets at the beach. We're so funny. We got these little like pink bracelets with a little smiley face on it. I should put it on because I'm gonna go see Barbie tonight. Also, I don't have anything pink, like I don't have pink clothes. And I know a lot of people are wearing pink to go see the Barbie movie. Even if I did have pink, I don't think I would wear it. I don't know. I'm not that type of person that gets all dressed up. The only time I ever went to the movies and really participated in dressing a certain way to be on theme was the Twilight premieres. All of the Twilight midnight premieres, all four movies. I was in there with my Team Jacob shirt. So yeah, this could be my pink for Barbie tonight. But okay, let's change the bed sheets. I don't think I've shown this on the channel yet, but I started making my own cold brew at home. I actually did a partnership with Pete's Coffee over on TikTok and got me really into making my own cold brew. These are whole beans and I grind them up in just any coffee grinder. This one's from Amazon. And then you pour it into this cold brew maker. Basically you just put the grinded coffee in here and then you pour some filtered water over it 
and then you let it sit overnight for 24 hours so i figured i'd show it in the vlog because i've been doing this a lot lately and it's just a nice way to have my own cold brew because cold brew is different than iced coffee and i'm really loving the taste of this pete's medium roast big bang coffee so i'm gonna prepare my weekly batch usually when i make this and i fill it up it lasts me maybe three four days sometimes a week because i don't drink it every day sometimes i prefer to make my hot coffee and my espresso but yeah i love this thing i got this from amazon it was on sale for prime day i got this for 13 dollars. this was also on sale for prime day i can't remember for how much but i'll link these both in my description okay so first things first we're gonna grind our coffee beans you can use any coffee beans you want Mm, I love the smell of whole coffee beans. Okay. Good, I filled it up like to the fill line. You probably can't see because it's so dark. Screw it on and then you press this button. Then I'm just gonna scoop the grinded coffee and we're gonna put it in this filter. This also comes out. So when you're washing it, you can just take it off, but there's what the filter looks like. So basically when you pour the water in, the grinds will stay in place and not get like all mashed up. Then we're gonna just pour our water into the filter. And then as you can see, it's kind of straining out. All right. So yeah, you have to let this sit overnight. So I will be drinking this tomorrow on Sunday morning. We'll have my Sunday cold brew coffee, but that's how easy it is to make your own cold brew at home. I'm saving a lot of money. I'm not gonna have to buy those big jugs of cold brew anymore because I get a lot of pitchers out of this one bag. This is my fourth pitcher making it and the beans are about here. I mentioned earlier I wanted to show you guys something, so this is it. I am so excited about this. I think this is probably by far the best PR package, maybe the best package I've ever gotten because I wasn't expecting it, and it's from one of my favorite stores. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is, but it's a PR package from Target. I didn't even know Target did PR, so I was very shocked to get this. It's so big and heavy. I got this when we got back from the beach. I already opened it and I didn't put the things away yet because I wanted to show it on the blog as well in case you don't follow me on Instagram. But basically, they sent me a bunch of house things, cooking things, just basically everything from their lines, like Good and Gather, Threshold, basically, yeah, all of their lines. This little note card says, Hi Stephanie, things are warming up this summer. Poolside parties, dining, al fresco, sun soaks, and more. This month is one to enjoy and we're here to make that happen. We've gifted you a special summer kit with Target's best affordable finds designed to spark your creativity and ultimately fun. So they say it's a summer kit, but I'll be honest, a lot of these things in here kind of remind me of the fall. So they sent over a few food pantry items, this original pancake and waffle mix from Good and Gather. I wanna make some waffles for breakfast one day. So they sent over that and then this grain free it's an almond cashew granola it's just like a granola mix it has uh, pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds this will be really good for my oatmeal or my yogurt parfaits and then they also sent over and how ironic i just showed you guys how to make a cold brew with uh, some grinded coffee but they sent over the caramel macchiato flavored it's ground coffee light roast it says it's sweet buttery caramel with creamy notes of vanilla so i think i want to next time i make a cold brew i want to use this because it's already ground coffee i can just put this in my coffee filter and make myself some cold brew caramel macchiato oh man i think that'd be so good because i don't have a drip coffee machine i kind of wish i did i kind of wish i had both options the nespresso and also a traditional regular old drip coffee machine because i do miss drip coffee my parents have a drip coffee machine and every time i go there and I make myself some coffee, it just tastes so good. It tastes like good old coffee. And sometimes the Nespresso gets really too bold and too strong for my liking. So I don't know, maybe I'll get like a really cheap 
drip coffee machine one day but for now i'm just gonna use this to make cold brew and then there's also a vanilla bean infused maple syrup that sounds really good so i feel like one day i need to whip up a really nice brunch make some waffles and some cold brew caramel macchiato and then I sent over a lot of kitchen items these oven mitts from threshold their mini oven mitts comes with two i love the color of them it's like a light blue kind of a like a denim i don't know if you can tell but yes those are so cute and then this little sharaf craft i never know how to say that word but i could put you know juices in here uh mimosas that's why I, yeah i really want to have an at-home brunch maybe before the summer ends i'll have my girlfriends over and we'll make brunch because we used to do that a lot especially during quarantining times we would uh host brunches and we would do like a full spread pancakes bacon eggs quiches and a bunch of other stuff potatoes and stuff like that so yeah maybe we'll do a brunch one day and then this is i think my favorite thing a set of these dinner bowls from the opal house line and it's so gorgeous kind of a let's see like a cream apricot color with some specks speckles on it they're plastic but i think this will be really nice for my salads pastas so we'll definitely get a lot of use out of those and then this is exciting because it's going to motivate me to make some new recipes this is a quiche and tart pan with a removable bottom this is from the Hearth in hand with magnolia line. So I think I'm gonna make a quiche now. I'm gonna, yeah, definitely do pancakes or waffles with some juice, make a quiche. We're gonna do a whole brunch set up. And then also, speaking of the setup, we have some household things. These are placemats, I believe. I haven't opened them yet, so let's open them. I think it's a set of four placemats. So that's why I was saying this package kind of reminds me of fall a little bit because of the colors. Those are kind of fall colors, right? You know, caramel macchiato, that's fallish. Even these give me fall vibes. So, I mean, I can definitely use these things now. Oh, it's a runner. Ooh, that's cute. This might be kind of short for my dining table. I'll definitely test it out. But that is cute. This is, again, from Hearth and Hand. And I really like the material of this. The colors are cute. Yeah, maybe for my fall tablescape, I will put this on. Hopefully it's long enough. And then lastly, we have these napkins, the same design of the table runner. And yeah, the machine washable comes with four of them. I'm gonna open them up. I don't really use cloth napkins, but I think I should start doing that because they're reusable. Oh, speaking of reusable, me and Anto have been watching Extreme Cheapskates. I don't know why, what, how we happened upon that show. I know it's so old. They haven't released new episodes in like 10 years. But I think we were on Hulu or Tubi. We really like those type of shows, those TLC type of shows where you follow people around and see their weird habits and things like that. So that show honestly is so kind of gross, but it's addicting to watch. So I have been inspired to be a cheapskate and to unplug. Like I literally went around the apartment and unplugged everything. The AC is barely on, but it is today because it's almost 100 degrees out today. We don't turn the lights on as much. We're very conservative with water like i know we should have been doing this the whole time but we're putting in more effort now to be cheap but anyway yeah so let's start using reusable napkins shall we but these are very good quality i love how these feel yeah i definitely want to have a brunch one day and use all these things so that's all that's in the box from target this is a dream come true this is crazy i never thought i would be getting pr from target hold on let me let me say that again and like actually process that sentence you got PR from Target. Target! Sorry. <laughs> but none of this would be possible without you guys. So I'm always very grateful for everything that I get. I did get another PR package that I'm really excited about. Rode reached out to me and sent over all of their products. Rode is the skincare line by Haley Bieber, Justin Bieber's wife, if you don't know. Um, but yeah, she released a skincare line, I think mayba couple years ago. To be honest, I've never really been interested in trying their products. This is my first time ever getting any of her products. I just never was really into it. I have this weird thing with celebrity skincare lines. Skincare is very tricky because it has a lot of chemicals. It could really affect your skin. 
you know, with breakouts and stuff like that. So I try to stay away from celebrity skincare lines and stick to like dermatologist recommended skincare lines. But I mean, this thing is viral. I see so many people on the internet talking about it. So I've always been very intrigued and the products do look good. Let's try this now. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my skincare right now because I'm looking a little bit dull anyway. So we're gonna do a try on and first impressions of the Rode skincare line. I remind myself of Belly from the summer I turned pretty, but like when she was still younger, 13 years old, she would wear her hair like this and wear glasses like this. And she's half Asian, I think. So I'm kind of getting belly vibes right now. By the way, I've been watching so many shows lately. I've been watching the summer I turned pretty, the second season, the new episodes are coming out every Friday. I just watched the newest one yesterday and it's pissing me off. The season is making me so mad. I know it's based on books and I actually already looked up what happened overall in the story. I really want to read the books one day, maybe I will, but the season is making me so mad. She's trying to sell the house and get rid of all of their mom's memories. It's just making me so upset. And then another show I've been watching every day is Love Island USA, which I am actually hating this season. And I need to just start watching the UK version because I know it's so much better. And I think I started the first season of UK Love Island like a couple years ago, but I just never finished it. But I don't know, if you're watching Love Island USA, let me know in the comments if you agree. There's just something about the cast this year. They're all just so annoying. They're very extra emotional, very snaky, except for Bergie is my favorite. That man is so sweet and I kind of, I feel so bad for him. I feel like he's too good for the show. I think he's just way too nice and oh, He's so sweet and he's from Wisconsin and my family's from Wisconsin. He reminds me of like people I know. Oh man, I hope he finds someone. That boy deserves all the love in the world. He is so sweet, I feel so bad. But anyway, okay, so back to the skincare. So the first product, and I'm not sure the order that I should use it in. I think I should use this one first. This is the Glazing Milk and it is a potent nutrient rich complex with a milky texture. It boosts the barrier function and leaves skin feeling hydrated, dewy, and glowing. You can use this in the morning and night, and you just apply it onto your face and your neck, and that's all. All these products are leave-on products. I don't think you have to wash anything out. So there's that. It's very milky and runny, so let me just apply it. And I know that's Hailey Bieber's thing, milky, glowy, dewy skin. So let's see. Ooh, this feels nice, looks nice. Hmm, I like it. It doesn't have any kind of scent. It kind of has a little scent, but it's not like a like a fragrant scent. I can't explain it, but it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so the next thing is this peptide glazing fluid. It's niacinamide, 2% peptides, hyaluronic acid, and marula oil. Ooh, what's that? I've never heard of that. So this is used to plump and hydrate your skin. I really like the packaging of her products, the minimal gray, I feel like that is what sells these days. You know, when the packaging is aesthetic, that's when a brand is gonna be successful. The smell, I can't describe the smell. It's not like a florally scent or, I don't know, you know how skincare products kind of have that really good type of scent? It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, you know what, it kind of smells like like a CeraVe product. So that's good. Maybe that's a good sign that kind of smells like a dermatological, is that a word? A dermatologist product. Okay, so there I applied the glazing milk and the peptide glazing fluid. Okay, and then the next product is a barrier restore cream. This has shea butter, acai squalane, and peptides. This is a moisturizer. It's rich, nourishing and restores a compromised skin barrier. So, so there's the packaging for that. I like how it's small, so this might be good for travel. And there's a swatch of that. Ooh, it feels thick. Mm, this feels good. Mm -hmm. Definitely feels very hydrating and moisturizing. The last product is a lip treatment, the peptide lip treatment. I know these were super popular. I think this was sold out for so long, but I think this is a new drop. It's the vanilla one. My lips have been so dry this summer. I'm applying so many lip products. I'm applying very moisturizing lip oils, lip balms and all that, but it's still very dry. I think because the air quality has been really bad this summer, but like the sides here, it's always red because of the dryness of my lips, but mm, 
Ooh, I like that. Ooh, look how pointy. Shiny. You guys see that? All right, so that's all four of the products. And overall, yes, I am looking dewy and glowy, but not greasy, which is always the goal with looking dewy oh I like these products it feels really lightweight it doesn't smell this smells really good this smells like vanilla but it's not like a strong scent. I love how I'm smelling my lip it's not a strong scent it's not too overbearing it's not too much like candy mmm I really like it there is my try on and review of the road skincare line let me know in the comments if you like this line this is my first time using it so I'm gonna maybe just keep using them and see how it is hopefully i don't get a bad reaction because i have sensitive skin so maybe maybe it's good for sensitive skin because so far i'm feeling good um like my skin doesn't tingle or anything so yeah okay i'm gonna clean up all of that pr nonsense and then i'll probably actually get ready soon for the movies because we're gonna meet up early and my friends are gonna meet here so i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear it is literally 97 degrees outside we're going through a heat wave this weekend so, but the movies are always cold, so I'm gonna have to figure out what to wear. I don't think I'll do makeup. Maybe I should do makeup right now and just do like a little bit. So I picked up a bunch of mint a few days ago. It kind of looks like it's starting to go bad. Yeah, so I wanna use it up and I also had half of a cucumber left. So I got some inspo from Maggie McDonald. I saw it in one of her vlogs, I can't remember which one, but she made some water. I don't know if she used exactly cucumber and mint, but I remember she made water with i think maybe it was lemon and mint she put some type of fruit and vegetable in there it might have been this combo so i wanted to use up the mint and make some cucumber and mint water them in the fridge let them get cold but they smell so good and so refreshing the perfect summer drink I'm making myself some lunch I'm making a sandwich I feel like I've been in the kitchen a lot this vlog but I haven't made a sandwich in so long we're just gonna do simple today I'm gonna do some whole wheat bread with avocado we're gonna do turkey lettuce tomato onion and that's probably it we're gonna just keep it simple to be honest I have to go grocery shopping I haven't been well I did go grocery shopping when we got back from the beach but I didn't do like a full grocery shopping I just got a few random essentials but I didn't get any veggies or any meats or anything so I've just been eating what's really in the fridge and it's not a lot so I'm using up all my tomatoes and all my veggies and my turkey Literally not that much left, but we're gonna use it up. I usually toast my bread, but we're going with soft bread for today. Gotta do the everything but the bagel seasoning on the avocado, tomatoes. Oh, this is a lot. This is still pretty good. Oh my gosh. So I really wanna try the sandwiches from Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney's sandwich shop. Vanderpump fans, you know, but every time I see them promoting their store or when I used to watch the show and I would see them working on their store, I would always crave a sandwich. Salt and pepper on the turkey. Let's see, we'll do, I think we'll do mayo on the other side of the bread. I'm like not a fan of mayo. It kind of gives me the ick a little bit. But when I do eat mayo, it's a little tiny amount, only on sandwiches or in potato salad. Okay, let's do some lettuce. I like the crunchy 
the crunchy lettuce. Never soft. Just some skinny slices. Thin cheddar cheese. Mm, I'm kind of weird though. I don't want the cheese to touch the mayonnaise, even though I know it's going to be all consumed the same way. But that's kind of gross. I wish I could lift this up and put this on top. There we go. Yep, yep. Oh, let me do a little bit of balsamic glaze, just a teeny tiny bit for some sweetness. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of Italian seasoning. Mm. Doesn't that look like an MVP of a sandwich? <laughs> Yummy. There we go, guys. Sandwich of the day. We'll do a side of, let's see, I have some chips or something. I have some of these flaming Hot Barbecue Ruffles. Has anyone tried these? I think these are new. They're really spicy though, but they're pretty good. Let's make this a well-balanced lunch. I'm gonna add some berries on the side. I feel like a kid. <laughs> Croy is so good on a hot summer day. It's not Saturday without that afternoon nap. Mm. It also started raining. Honestly, nothing hits better than the Saturday afternoon nap in the rain. This is my very boring outfit to go see Barbie, but I don't have anything pink. I'm going to bring my tote because I have some Twizzlers I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring my water bottle. I hope I can bring that in. I never know if I can bring in water bottles like that. I don't know if they care or if there's a rule. I'm pretty sure it's not allowed, but I just hope they won't say anything. I guess I can put it in my bag, but it's the one with the straw on the top, so I don't want it to leak. I'll figure it out, but... We're on our way to go see the movie. Crazy thunderstorm has passed. As you can see, it's really very nice and sunny now. So it'll be good weather to go out. And I'm also wearing really comfortable shoes. People usually dress up to go to the movies every time I go on Saturday nights, but I am not that person. I like to be comfortable when I see a movie and I have my hoodie tied around my waist because it's gonna be cold in the movie theater so I can be nice and snuggly and cozy. So. Off we go to go see Barbie. I'm very excited. I'm gonna give you guys my review after the movie. Be anything. And this has been reflected back onto the little girls of today in the real world. Hey guys it's the next day i have a really bad sleepy eyes right now i just rolled out of bed i'm gonna pour myself some of the cold brew that i made yesterday morning and it's been 24 hours so we're gonna have some now i need to figure this thing out this thing always drips i think i have this on backwards there we go that's really like dark yes and if you want it to be like a more darker brew, I would just add more coffee grinds, but it's totally fine. It's a bright and early, beautiful Sunday morning. I'm actually going to go uh, edit a little bit and work a little bit in the living room. We're going to just hang out. I love the way the morning sun shines on the couch. And I'm gonna watch I Love Lucy because it's my favorite show to watch in the mornings. When I was growing up, my grandma's favorite show was I Love Lucy, so she got me into it. And when I was a kid, we used to watch it every morning before I would go to school, like when she would come to visit, because she used to live in Minnesota. But she would come visit us two times a year and stay for a couple weeks. And the days, the mornings before I would go to school, we would watch it, and so now, I like to watch in the morning because it reminds me of that. But I have to catch you guys up on my day yesterday. I didn't vlog after the movie because me and my friends, we, yeah, we went to the movie and then we went to a restaurant nearby and we got some drinks and some food. And then I came home around, I think it was 11 and I was just so tired, I didn't really feel like vlogging. But we need to talk about the Barbie movie because oh my God. I know the Barbie movie got generally positive reviews, but there were a lot of people that didn't like the movie 
And I think it's because if you don't understand a lot of the things about Barbie, and if you don't understand their deeper meaning, you might not like it. And I can see why people don't like it because it's all really chaotic, very out there, very, yeah, just so chaotic. It was so funny though. That is exactly my type of humor. I was cracking up every single line. I feel like my movie theater was getting annoyed with me and my friends because everything that was happening, we were dying laughing. That's just our type of humor, like the weirdness and the extremeness over the topness, but that's Barbie, you know? I grew up playing Barbie. That was one of my favorite toys growing up. I had a huge collection of Barbies. So for me, I like understood all the references and the small tiny jokes. Like I, a lot of people didn't understand the flat feet thing. Um, which I guess makes sense if you didn't play with Barbies as a kid. Barbies don't have flat feet. And I think when they started making flat feet of the Barbies, because they did have some with flat feet, a lot of people did not like that. I think I had one that, oh, do you remember the Barbie dolls? I think it was a Barbie doll that could be both flat footed and toes up or heels up. And you could like adjust it. it. Sounded like their bones were cracking. Is that is that a real thing or is that just my imagination? I don't know. But I personally love the movie. I want to see it again so bad. I was watching videos on TikTok last night when I got back of all Barbie things. I was looking at interviews of the cast. I was looking at like people's reactions. I always do that when I see a movie I really like or something I really want to like know more about or see more about. I always go on TikTok and look at other videos about it. I want to buy that movie when it comes out. Like I want to own it so I can watch it anytime. I have a minor inconvenience in my life because it was that good. And it was really sweet. Like the end was really sweet. A lot of people said they cried at the end. I personally did not um, because I didn't really understand what was going on, but I understand now what happened and it's really cute. And the way that the movie ended was just so funny. Oh man, if you are debating on seeing it, just go see it. It's just, even if you don't like Barbie, you should just see it just to know what the hype is about. Sometimes I'll watch movies because I'm always really interested in cinema and movies that people talk about. That's why I always like to watch the Oscar nominated movies because I want to see what, oh, like, let me see like how this is so good and why people think this is so good. So even though you don't like Barbie and you have no interest in it, I still recommend seeing it. And you might think it's the stupidest movie, which is fine, but it was entertaining though. And I think Ryan Gosling was the star of the movie. Of course Barbie was, but no, Ryan Gosling stole the show. He is so funny. I don't know if you can win an Oscar for a Barbie movie, but he needs to be nominated for Best Supporting Actor or something, because he was just hilarious. But anyway, I enjoyed the night, and I love going to the movies and dinner with friends. That's like my ideal way to spend Saturday night and then be back by 11. We were back, yeah, by 10.30 to 11. So it was a fun night, and today is Sunday. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm gonna just chill at home again today. Tomorrow, me and my dad and Anto are going to a baseball game because the Brewers are coming in town. And then next weekend, we're gonna be doing a lot. Next weekend on Friday, me and Kelsey are going to a Broadway show, or not Broadway, it's not Broadway. Um, it's at the Kennedy Center and it's Moulin Rouge, uh, the musical. I was invited, so. Kelsey's like my musical bestie. Every time I get invited to go to see a show, like a musical, I'll always invite her. Anto does not like that kind of stuff. He hates musicals. He doesn't like any singing in any plays, in any movie. He doesn't like singing in, in movies. So I would have brought him because he's always my plus one to everything and I'm always his plus one, but he, he does not like musicals. So yeah, that's gonna be on Friday. And then Saturday, the day after, me and my girlfriends are going to brunch. We have not done a girls brunch in months so we're gonna do that and then i think that's it for this weekend so yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i'm gonna just actually edit and have a very chill kind of boring morning um i think we're gonna go to the mall later and go shopping once anto wakes up but yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed it was just a very chill vlog i love doing vlogs like this i feel like i can just be relaxed and chill just in my own environment i don't have to go and do a bunch of things like crazy errands and like run around town i can just stay home and make my little coffees and my little waters my little coconut waters which by the way was really good i drank one this morning when i woke up so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will be vlogging a lot this week this week is going to be a lot more calm i'm not going to have so much going on last week was just so hectic so i barely vlogged but this week i'm going to vlog a few days this week i might even vlog the weekend when I do all those fun events, 
we'll see how the week goes but that's all for this vlog so thank you all so much for watching i will see you all in my next vlog